Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron Fours. We are playing with the Fifth Portuguese Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. All right, guys. So remember, we have the uh, we have our volunteers over here helping, or you know, helping as much as we can uh, against these Allied invasions while we prepare for our own war against the Allies. And uh, we got a lot of stuff to do, guys. Uh, and one thing I noticed here is that in this campaign, unlike the French one, we have not gotten a lot of this stuff done yet. So I think we're going to start working on some of these guys. Let's go ahead and start with the Army Department here. Uh, I think getting those uh, would help quite a bit. Uh, getting a, a lot more of these, in fact. Oops, I keep on. I always click on the wrong on the uh, wrong icon there. Uh, so we want to get the Army, the Air Force. Getting this would be helpful. Anti-partisan, more passive defense would be great. Suicide pills, uh, localized training centers, although we already have three spies, so I don't know if we'll get to do anything with that. Uh, but the decryption power would really be helpful because uh, our decryption is is terrible. Uh, so if you like look at our our encryption is terrible too. Uh, but if you look at the uh, the UK uh, decryption, it would take 1,463 days because we don't have any decryption power. So we should probably start getting those as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is go in and get the dockyard design, but we're not gonna build the destroyers yet because I forgot we're already we're we're researching the 1944 destroyers. So might as well finish that. And we can just try and get the, the light cruisers built quicker. Uh, we'll be able to get them done in the 15th of February now, uh, instead of, you know, I think that was the end of 1946 or something like that. It was pretty far into 1946 uh, to get those light cruisers built. I'm also considering changing our trade laws back. I don't know yet, guys. Uh, mainly for the, the extra civilian factories and because we're doing pretty good on resources at this point. Uh, we need to head over to the army mode. And we're gonna go ahead and delete that line and give them a new one. And, uh, oops, I deleted the entire line, my bad. Didn't mean to do that, guys. <laughs> so let's go and get that assigned. All right, so let's start moving on over there. And uh, I don't even know if they're gonna need our help over here. They're doing just fine. Uh, they continue again to launch these naval invasions. I almost think it would be a good idea to have naval bombers out there instead of the planes that we currently have sent them we could always send it to the french and the italians and start working on bombing them with the naval bombers uh, i've already moved some of them over here but yeah maybe we want to go ahead and get them get them bombing the allied well no because we won't get credit for anything we sink that's right we probably should, we, we're helping out enough for not getting credit we'll wait i don't want to not get credit for just sinking the entire allied navy uh that's a lot of uh, war participation we could get all right, so yeah, we don't even need to. <laughs> we don't even need to be here, guys. They're doing such a great job taking this out themselves. Let's bring these guys over here. Make sure that they uh, get this conquered. But again, it looks like the Germans are, are taking care of it just fine. Uh, while the rest of these guys here are gonna go over to this front, try and help push them back. Apparently, there's somebody not assigned here. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on actually. <laughs> it's just. Uh, a little bit messed up. Yeah, I don't think they actually need to... There you go there as well. Let's just have the whole entire Red Army go over here. Uh, it's not necessary to help them out. Looks like they got it taken care of. So that looks like uh, Denmark will be conquered soon. I don't think Sweden. No, Sweden's not in the Allies. Uh, so, yeah, we don't have to, to attack them. We'll just help them wipe out the rest of uh, these Danish this Danish territory, take their capital. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we're just doing it so damn quick, man. Look at them go. All right, let's go and take that territory, help them out there. But yeah, we're just uh, moving very, very fast, very rapidly. All right, so we'll go ahead and take that, move on back. And then we'll go ahead and make sure that the Red Army has a line here. And then uh, might have to help them defeat those British troops there. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so we got a couple things done. So we got our national focus done. And of course, this is gonna allow us to build quicker. Uh, and also allowed us to build a bit more in our home territory because we had re reached the max in several of our states. Uh, could get more oil. Could get the artillery. Oh, there's another one. Okay, that's for naval doctrines or air doctrines. So you don't have to use it for land doctrines. Uh, so that'll help. We want to start going down those naval and air doctrines soon. We haven't touched them yet, guys. Not at all. Uh, here's some claims. That would make it cheaper in the peace treaty, so we'll eventually want to get it. But, I mean, it's not really... It's not really necessary. It's not as important, I think, as getting some of the other stuff around here, guys. Uh, so, could get the airborne tech. Uh, could get well, that's some more experience. It's always helpful to have. Uh, but I think we're gonna do the the artillery one, guys. All right, and this also gives those research bonuses for the doctrines. So we'll get that. 
more research bonuses, but we're we're almost through the uh, through the focus tree, guys. Uh, we've made pretty good progress there. I want to build planes. That's what I want to build, but we don't have any rubber, guys. So there's really nothing to do with our factories except for to try and get all that infantry equipment updated. Uh, and we could always send equipment off to the Germans again if if need be, uh, and make sure they have plenty. Because you can see they are having equipment issues. Look at all their divisions; they're all pretty weak. Because yeah, we can actually see where the German divisions are now because uh, we're helping them. So we got the improved snorkels. Let's go and get the submarines now. And then we'll start working on passive bonuses and uh, naval doctrines. All right, so let's go and attack the British here. Get them uh, completely kicked out of Denmark. And then we'll just uh, react to any further invasions. Oh no, God damn it! our agent was captured. The Brazilians, man, they're pretty good at capturing our dudes, man. All right, so we'd have to go rescue them uh, and I think he's building an intel network over here. All right, well instead, he'll have to build the intel network over here. I don't think we have any, any uh, intel here. Let's just take a look, see if we can rescue him. Oh, we can rescue him. All right, so let's go and do that. And we're gonna just place uh, this guy over there. Commence when ready, prepare. So of course, it does have to, uh, oh, and Denmark capitulated, excellent. It does have to take a few days to get that done. All right, let's go and get the Red Army moving. I don't know where the next invasion is going to come from, uh, but I almost want to uh, pull one of these armies back now because uh, it seems like this is probably going to be unnecessary having all these divisions here. Because, uh, you know, we have 24 divisions helping them out. But, yeah, I don't even know if they'll be able to launch any more invasions. you got to imagine that they be have become pretty weak with all these failed invasions. How many troops have they lost? I mean, we don't know, but I would assume it's a lot. And uh, that they had hold, held uh, Denmark for quite some time. Uh, I have been putting planes out there to train and stuff, guys. So we got, like, a bunch of train uh, training planes right now. We've been doing that. Uh, and uh, these guys, uh, don't even, it doesn't really matter where we have them right now. Let's leave them where they're at. Uh, but yeah, I do have planes training, and uh, let's go in and get something select here. We'll get the Air Force Department next. Uh, so yeah, just trying to get uh, prepared for this conflict. We're up on speed five now. We're gonna need to move some more divisions over to these ports here, so that's gonna be important to do. Uh, we'll likely do that soon. We're gonna wanna split up our army as well. Get them all split up. And uh, let's see if these guys, yeah, they're still training. These guys are training as well. They're gonna join the army that is supposed to be garrisoning here, which is that yellow army. So get them moving on over here. Remember, we need quite a few divisions to get this done uh, to cover all those provinces. 13 total divisions is what we need. Uh, so we do have a decision available. Uh, that's just the press censorship. Fascism's at 85% right now and it's still ticking up. Uh, so it's not that big of an issue. Yeah, I almost wanna, but man, I know that we're just gonna have a bunch of resource issues if I do uh, pick this. But man, it'd be sure would be nice to get those ships built sooner too. Uh, but yeah, if we have steel problems, and uh, there is the Russians though, we can trade with them for steel, so that's always an option. I don't know I'm really tempted, guys, to try and get the civilian factories uh, for trading, because uh, yeah, we could build a lot quicker if we had the civilian factories. Uh, and everybody started trading with us. I don't know. We got other stuff to get, so we're going to get that first. But it's something I'm considering doing, guys. Uh, so we get naval experience faster, uh, or we can do the ground support. Let's do the ground support here. So we've almost filled out all of our advisors. Not much left to do there. And uh, getting all these guys trained up. Uh, so we got logistic companies. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get the next. Well, let me just see if there's anything else that we really want to get. Uh, we're not there yet. Could get the mechanized again. We talked about that before to get the hardness up. Also, could get the special forces stuff and get the, uh, you know, maybe get some paratroopers that we could drop. Uh, obviously these still need to be gotten. Uh, still a lot of stuff here to get with the anti-tanks and anti-air. Now we don't have those in many of our division designs, so that's the main reason why we haven't focused on that. Haven't even started on the naval doctrines or air doctrines yet, guys, so definitely got to start working on that soon. Uh, maybe we'll start working on that now, like working on the air doctrines. I think that's what might be what we start with, guys. Let's go ahead and start working on the air doctrines. Uh, so as far as uh, which route we're going to go here, probably just going to go with the battlefield support. I don't have strategic bombers. I, I think we're going to go with the battlefield support. I think getting operational integrity would be good as well, though. That'd be nice to have, but uh, we're just going to get this one right here. And do we want to spend air experience? No. We'll just research it straight and removes a few days. I'd prefer to wait till this gets to 475 and then 
get better planes probably better naval bombers actually i think we're researching those right now aren't we yeah we'll probably use that for the naval bombers then for air experience is 475 it's not right now hopefully we'll be able to get it there uh so we do have the military factory another military factory uh so let's go ahead and figure out where we want to place this again the rubber shortages are still bad we're getting better though because we're building that you know what we should have researched that all right uh well we can't uh now we'll have to wait and do it do it later uh this costs what rubber we could pull back on the motorized and that would give us more rubber for our our planes yeah let's do that we'll pull back on the, the motorized quite a bit because we're actually stacked on motorized yeah we're doing great on motorized we can actually pull even more so we can put more into planes yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, pretty stacked on the artillery, too. But, I mean, we're stacked on everything, guys. Uh, so, let's put these into uh, improved anti-air. Maybe get a little bit more going to the anti-tanks. And then the rest of these will be going to uh, planes, man. Planes. So, so going to have some, some rubber shortages here. It's just the way it is. Naval bombers, for us, are more important right now than close air support. So, we'll put them above there. And that's probably it for anything that costs rubber because yeah we're already kind of short here all right so let's instead put it into i mean yeah we just don't need anything right now guys <laughs> yeah, we don't need anything and we could just modernize infantry equipment and build up more so that we can trade uh or give it to other countries uh, it does seem like germany needs quite a bit of stuff so let's go ahead and send oh well your equipment's getting better i don't know what all they need uh but yeah, I would love if they could do the naval invasions for us. We might have to do it, uh, naval invasion of Britain. But again, we'll have to get all of their their ships sunk first, or at least a lot of their ships sunk before we get go ahead and start trying to do that. All right, so again, just trying to get some of this basic stuff done here, guys. Uh, we're almost ready. Uh, almost got all these built up. Also, looks like this has been completed. So we did rescue our operative. Excellent. Uh, so let's go and take a look and see what he's currently doing. He's probably back here doing counter intel, right? It, we actually have two of them doing counter intel. All right, so we're still trying to get Turkey into the faction. Uh, I remember we got him pretty close, but not quite there. Negative 23 right now. Uh, let's go ahead and we can offer him military access. I don't know if that'll increase it at all. Uh, let me just take a look how much we've improved relations with them. All right, so we can't get any more through that way. Uh, I don't know if offering the military access would help. Uh, we can't guarantee them yet because they're not fascists. Let's try offering military access and see if that boosted at all. Doesn't look like it did. Looks like it's the same. Yeah, it doesn't look like that changes anything. All right, well, we'll keep it there. Uh, and then improving relations wouldn't do anything, so there's not really anything we can do here. Uh, but what we can do is try and send an operative over here to see if we can't boost ideology again. Though I feel like you have to put like all of them into this right now in order to get it done. So, like, if you maybe put one towards building military intel, and then the other one boosting ideology, once you get the intel network there, perhaps. All right, so now let's try boosting the ideology here. Nope, not big enough. What does it need to be for us to be able to do it? I don't know. I guess we'll just wait. Uh, so, we've got the Air Force Department. Uh, let's go ahead and get something else here. Uh, probably decryption power next. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the decryption power. I know that does take a lot of factories. Uh, I don't know exactly how many it was requiring, but I think it's quite a bit. Maybe 10 or something like that, eight or 10. All right, so let's see if he can go now and boost ideology. He cannot, not yet. Clearly needs to be higher than 2%. All right, so are we waiting for anything else here uh, to get on our destroyers? No. So now that we've gotten the destroyers, uh, let's go ahead and get some of these passive bonuses that we have yet to get like the uh yeah a lot of these are really good so yeah i think we should get some of them let's go ahead and start with the uh smoke generators 42 days and let's go ahead and build our new destroyers guys uh so we're just gonna go ahead and say all these are old and use the historical destroyers and then we're gonna want to get uh the crabs here and let's go and get all the new stuff in there. Uh, so no torpedo launchers. Uh, what do we have here? This is the sonar. So yeah, we have the active sonar already. So let's go and get the radar. Again, we're, we're kind of behind on radar tech. Uh, that's okay, though. All right, and then go and get the new torpedoes. Hmm. We don't have a lot of depth charges on here, I noticed. Um, was this mainly a torpedo uh, destroyer? I thought we had a... 
Okay, well we have two deport two torpedoes. Let's go into the now they do have some submarines, so we will go ahead and get depth charges on there. And then uh but mainly want to have two torpedoes, uh so they have a good torpedo attack. It's currently 135, that's pretty high, guys. That's high depth charges as well. Uh Obviously, attacking anti-air is about as high as we can get it. Um, well, I mean, we could do the dual-purpose guns to increase it even higher and make these destroyers actually somewhat useful in a battle. Hmm. How much would this change things? Okay, so it wouldn't change the attack all, at all. It'd just change the light piercing and give us anti-air. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm really considering trying to get the light attack up on these guys uh, because we don't really need the depth charges as much. Yeah, you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the uh, uh, the dual purpose guns on here. Yeah, I think that'd be useful. It's just gonna reduce the light piercing some. We don't really need a high depth charge attack, though. Uh, we're not gonna be fighting that many submarines. So I think this would be helpful. These this would result in these destroyers probably being better than most other destroyers. Okay, I remember now. We called these torpedo destroyers. Uh, that's right. We, we, that's why we didn't have very many depth charge attacks on them because yeah, we didn't we didn't need it. They're still torpedo destroyers. Uh, we have the two torpedoes, but yeah, I think it would be really useful to have these. Uh, so they can actually like fight some of those those enemy planes and stuff. Uh, so let's go and save that, and let's go and get these guys building. Uh, so we'll put, put them right under the light cruisers, and then we'll probably pull back on the light cruisers a bit. And put these into the destroyers. Uh, maybe even further, actually. Alright, so that looks good. Alright, fantastic. So... We need more dockyards, that's what I'm seeing. I that really need to get more dockyards building. But of course, we should probably finish up these fortifications first, uh, as well as getting this for the rubber. We'll actually put that up to the top, because I don't like, uh, you know, our rubber shortages are an issue. So it's an invasion here. I'm not even going to move to stop these invasions until they get... Oh, nice, we got another civilian factory. Excellent. But yeah, I'm not going to even attempt to move uh, to stop these invasions until they look like uh, they're getting out of control. Because every time we move over there, they end up, uh, oops. Get these guys, whoops, placed over here. Uh, but yeah, every time I put them over there, uh, they just end up, uh, leaving before, uh, or finishing up, excuse me, before I'm able to even, like, help. And then this guy will come on over here. Again, we are going to be splitting this army up, uh, this purple army up into multiple armies. Uh, we're just trying to get everybody situated and stuff first. Uh, so, like, moving these guys over here, and then we're going to be attacking over against all that territory there. Uh, there's a successful invasion there. We have some troops here to help uh, push forward there. We have troops there. These guys are going to need to get to moving to their borders now. Uh, so, let me see. We want to attack into South Africa. Uh, so, how many troops do we need to cover the entire front? Quite a few. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Well, we don't have eight. We have five. That's fine. We have those guys that can attack from that direction. So let's attack here. Let's kind of move these guys around. We'll keep one in the port. Move one over there. One over there. And then the last one is going to try and grab. I will go over this way, I guess. All right. Excellent. All right, so they'll get to moving around there. We have these divisions as well uh, that can advance into their territory here. We'll want like, one right there. One over here. And these guys are already up on the border here, but we can take one of them and have them go over here. All right, excellent. So looking pretty good there. Looks like we have more divisions from the Russians. Let's go and get these guys training up. Uh, we also have this guy. He can move over to the Yellow Army here. Remember, we need 13 divisions. We're up to 10 now. Uh, we'll probably want like two for each port as well. Uh, so we can also move them over here once we get enough and have them protect these ports because the point of these guys here is mainly for uh, uh, advancing. Uh, we're going to be using all of them to advance. Okay, this is what we need to do. Take one of them and bring them over here. All right, what is the decision available? No, oh, just cancel that blockade treaty. Remember, we're getting a civilian factory from every single one of these, so yeah, you get quite a few civilian factories from this. Of course, you do have to give convoys away, 50 convoys, so it has uh, hurt our convoy uh, levels, but that's okay. I feel like we're in a good spot there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like uh, they were successful in either one of those invasions. I don't think they can do this, guys. I think they're done for. 
so what we might go ahead and do is pull our uh, I don't know if you if they changed that so you could do that before that you couldn't you couldn't uh, bring back volunteers and it looks like that's the case now you still can't pull back volunteers I was hoping that maybe they would have allowed that but yeah it's not the case uh, so we now have this up to nine percent probably still not high enough uh, to get the uh, boost ideology going yeah we can actually get it going all right so let's go and try this again guys but it says zero per day I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like uh, we'll, we'll leave them there for a second and I'll show you why it's saying zero per day I don't, I don't really understand the tooltip honestly it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me so we'll look, we'll take a look at that we did get the naval bombers uh, let's go ahead and get could get scout planes we have those in the French series and so far they haven't been super useful because I haven't had any problems uh, getting um, you know any intel on anybody it seems to be pretty easy to get intel for the most part though you do have to use an operative so I guess this is one way to get it without an operative I suppose but even then uh, it wasn't really impacting it that much uh, so yeah uh, we do need to get strategic bombers if we want to drop uh, our, our nukes or atomic bombs once we get those but that'll be a way uh, ways from now tactical bombers would be super helpful to have uh, but again I think we're gonna wait to get that since we've already already got these planes here this would be nice for the range uh, so I do want to get tactical bombers but not yet guys we are like so behind on uh, a lot of stuff uh, like radar technology for instance uh, we really need to get that uh, we could also get the the newer fire control systems uh, that'd be an option as well there's like so much stuff for us to get obviously we haven't even started on naval doctrine yet so that's a problem uh, so I think we're going to get the radar tech guys first we'll start with that and then we have outdated equipment that we're producing the naval bombers uh, and we're not quite up to 475 yet that's okay we'll just get them as good as we can get them uh, so let's go ahead and have what well, we do want to hold up make sure that goes away uh, that little icon so let's go ahead and get the, the naval bombers improved give them range I think as well would be nice uh, so we have to go all the way up to we would lose a little bit of reliability here uh, but that's okay well this is what we'll do We'll just use 340. Yeah, we'll just do the 340 for right now. And then we can improve them a bit later. So let's get them going out there. The Mark 1. Oops. God damn it. I was trying to decommission that one. Alright, excellent. And then go ahead and change these out. Get the Mark 1s. Alright, so we'll have better naval bombers out there soon uh, so that'll be helpful uh, we can take a look see if these guys are done training not quite um, I did set them up to uh, that's right I forgot we have that ability so I don't have to actually check them so that's nice uh, but let's go and put some more air wings out there uh, I know that we're, we're over stacked here uh, but that's okay uh, efficiency is not that big of a deal uh, when you're just training up and so let's go and get all these guys out here and I know this is using our, our manpower as well you know actually Let's just do a hundred here, and then get these guys trained up until they're fully trained. All right, excellent. We got our national focus completed as well. That's more research bonuses. We just are getting so much stuff done here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get. Could do the oil next. Not that we need oil, so we should probably get something else since we don't really need oil. Could get the jet uh, research. So we have a lot of research jet fighters. Quick. Uh, I think we're gonna instead though get the experience here. I think that'd be pretty useful to have. All right, excellent. So I launched another invasion here, and we got more military factories. All right, so let's go and get these signs. Still short on rubber. It's not too bad, though. We could actually probably trade for that rubber if we needed to. Uh, and kind of get... Uh, let me just see how... We're, let me put something in here real quick, guys. Uh, let's go and do... I'll do close air support here. Yeah, we could actually trade for a little bit of rubber. Well, never mind. There was two available from somebody. Uh, now it's just one. It's not worth trading factories for just one rubber. We'll just take the production hit, I suppose. Oh, yes. I was looking at this. Things keep on popping up, though, guys. So I wanted to show you here the tooltip that uh, you're getting 0.10, right? And then you have a plus 25% modifier. It's kind of strange. And then it's scaled to 6%. Like, why? Is that to do with the intel? I don't actually know. But you can see we're not ticking it up at all, or it's such a small fraction that they don't even show it here in the tooltip. So it's probably not useful to do. We'll see if, if it increases with the Intel network, though. I'm, I'm curious. So this is what we'll do. Let's have him build the Intel network up here and then see if, if when that gets higher, if they're more effective with the boost ideology. I'm curious. I want to know how this works. Uh, so 
We'll just have to do some testing there. Uh, and I really want to get the Turks into our faction if we can. Uh, so we've gotten uh, something to the submarine tech, that's right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... So I think we're going to have one working on passive, while the other one works on the naval doctrines. Uh, as far as like which one we should do, uh, maybe trade interdiction, uh, because you know we have a lot of submarines. Uh, I mean, we're just not going to have very many heavy ships, so I just don't think it's going to be all that useful getting uh, the fleet and being one, because uh, there's so many like heavy ship benefits, and uh, we don't have heavy ships. Uh, this one does have some uh, bonuses for the battleships and stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, I think we should just do this one. And help our submarines out and our cruisers, which is mostly what we have. Uh, I, I want to say that it doesn't give a lot of destroyer bonuses, though. And we do have a lot of destroyers. I mean, most of our fleet is destroyer. It's destroyers. This one might have more destroyer bonuses. Let me just double check on this. Yeah, it does have them, but it's mostly for organization and sub detection. And again, we don't really need the sub detection. Yeah, I think that's all it's for. So yeah, your destroyers would be better, but your light cruisers would be worse, it seems. So yeah, I think we'll just go with, I think we're just gonna go with this one, guys. Uh, so let's go in and get the trader interdiction. It's gonna be 104 days to knock that out. Another naval invasion over here. Again, we're just gonna wait, see if they even need our assistance. Uh, they might, looks like they might need it. Uh, it adds 10 civilian factories to get that done. Uh, but if we ever wanted to crypt, uh, then we will need to do that. Uh, let me see if there's anything else we can get here. Suicide pills would be nice to have. Let's go and do that. Let's do the suicide pills. All right, so yeah, we are gonna be needed here. So let's go over here. We can also bring the Red Army over here if it gets big enough, the invasion I mean. Otherwise we'll just use these guys and this should be enough. All right, so they're moving on over there. The attempted attack there. Uh, they looks like they would be successful if we didn't get there. Now they won't be. All right, and then we're gonna just go and attack their port and uh, hopefully get them destroyed here. And I was looking to see what the resource was. It's rubber though. Uh, we can get these guys trained up. All right, excellent. So, should be able to get the win there. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be an easy win. There we go. And uh, now we'll just get them destroyed here. Kind of move them over the, across this whole area. Attempt to get them uh, wiped out because they don't have any port anymore. Anymore, excuse me. Said no more. All right, so we'll push them back here, and then when we attack them from here, we'll want to attack from this side, so we're not getting the uh, penalties there. It looks like they've already uh, pushed forward here. Yep. All right. So instead, let's go and have this set up like this, and now they'll have them destroyed in no time too. All right. Excellent. So. I don't know if they needed our help. Uh, probably, I don't think they would have took the port, uh, focused on taking the port as they should have. I would get the smoke generators, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more passive bonuses. Uh, of course you can get uh, the better torpedo attack. Uh, that would be pretty useful to have actually. I think we will go ahead and get that. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the most useful thing as far as attack goes. We're gonna spend our experience to get that as well. Uh, we are running low on naval experience. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we do have another dockyard design that we must have just got built. Uh, I guess we'll put this into trying to get that damn light cruiser done a little bit quicker. All right, so still building up, guys. Uh, still trying to get these damn uh, coastal forts built. And also going to need more rubber as well. Seems like that's always an issue. Let's get another rubber uh, facility here. And uh, with these two, that should be good. And I keep forgetting to get that tech, man. So we can increase the amount of rubber we're getting per refinery. That's something we're gonna wanna do. Uh, as far as like our troops that are trained here, these guys are all done training, so we're gonna stop them here. Uh, and we're not getting any more because of lack of, uh, you know, we just don't have the ability to get any more. Uh, so we can go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, uh, manpower is just too low is what I was trying to say. Let's go and bring them over here. And I guess we'll, we have these built up high enough. Let's go ahead and start planning the naval invasions, guys. Uh, so we're gonna do multiple naval invasions from here. Uh, so we're going to want to probably invade the territory here, take these from, because I imagine they're not going to be well defended, not as well defended as the Brazilians will be. Uh, so we're going to want to attack at least two Brazilian ports. Uh, so let's just take a look and see where the best naval bases are in regards to supply. So we'll likely attack from this island here, attack right there, and then we'll also attack the capital 
over here. This will probably be better defended, so that's where we'll send our Marines. Uh, so let's go ahead and the Marines attack from over here. Oops, my bad. Yeah, that's the right island. Let's go ahead and attack right here. Uh, they will need to train up. I forgot to train them, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll get those guys training. I want to get them a general, but all of our generals are gone right now. Uh, so we'll have to wait until we get one of those guys back. And let's see here. We could pull these guys out as soon as we're ready to go to war, so we'll have the generals to be assigned. And um, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll pull them out of the volunteer army, so I'll have them. So we've got this guy here. Now we need to set up a an additional invasion. Uh, so we'll want them to invade from here. And what I'm going to do is just use probably just use this army here as a uh, as kind of like a backup. Uh, they won't go in the invasion. Instead, they'll uh, you know land at whatever port we take first. All right, so let's go and set up these invasions here. Though uh, we're going to need let me see here, and we're just going to set up separate armies. By the way. So these guys here, these are our 40 wits, uh, so, and those are the only 40 wits we have. So we do want to make use of those, uh, but they're not good for, they wouldn't be good for invasions though. Uh, so we won't use them for that. Let's just use like regular infantry for these invasions. Let's go like five here. Yeah, let's do five. Uh, do we want to do a separate army? Yeah, let's do a separate army, guys. Or we could just throw them into this one. Yeah, let's just throw them into this one, and then set up the naval invasion from here. If I can click on this damn island. <laughs> and then do the invasion of, let's see, I think we decided on that one. And then do the invasion there. Alright, so we'll have those five going off there. Uh, oops. Yeah, that, that's they can invade from there. I was thinking I was going to invade from a separate island, but I guess not. I guess they're all going to do invasions from here. We could do the one invasion from here. Looks like it's about the same distance, though. So, yeah, we'll just launch the other one from here as well. Uh, so let's go and give them five more divisions uh, for this attack. And these ones are going to attack over into the UK, their uh, colonial territory there. I think these naval bases, yeah, they're all the same size. So let's do the UK one first. And uh, make sure these guys are assigned to it. I think we can at least launch another five, uh, but I think uh, we'll just assign additional divisions to it. I think the best way to do it here. And oh damn, my bad guys. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so I messed this up. These guys are supposed to be and this army here. My bad. All right, so let's go ahead and put them there, and then have them invade over here. So yeah, rather than doing another additional invasion, what we'll do is we'll just take uh, troops and get them assigned until we can, don't have any more space. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is probably put these guys on the capital invasion, because that's probably going to be one of the more tougher ones. We should be able to send uh, a full army, uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, so how many do we have assigned to this one? I can't really see the number here. We have seven. Uh, let's go ahead and do, I think ten. I don't want to do the 40 wits there. Those are going to be used for fighting in Spain because uh, I know that they're going to land there. Uh, so yeah, we just want to do the regular infantry as well as, let me just see here. We can do these guys that have the anti-tanks. I don't know how, how much we're going to need that. So we'll just send a couple. Let's send uh, two of these guys. All right, so that looks good. Uh, and then we'll probably add to these invasions as well. So let me just see, yeah, we'll, we'll send this guy uh, off to this one here. We can get three more divisions over there. Uh, I want regular infantry, though, on these invasions. All right, so we have these guys here already. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to send these guys off on that invasion and then what we'll do is just uh, send different divisions over there so that's a uh, five let's go and do eight here and then the last division that we have here we'll then move to this one there we go all right so that gets us up to 24 divisions for that naval invasion army so we'll get them all moving uh we are going to want to put more troops onto these islands here uh, so let's go and do that now uh, we'll probably do, again, I don't want to put the 40 with, uh, and I, oh, man, we don't really need these guys there either, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, but I, we do want some larger armies there. We got all these guys here, and that's what the problem is. Uh, so many of our divisions are off doing that. So this is what we'll do. We'll put 140 width on each of these and just hope that uh, it doesn't uh, exhaust supply. All right, so let's move these guys over here. Here, yeah, if I can. And then over to here. And where the hell is that? There we go. All right, excellent. Uh, so hopefully that'll be enough to defend this territory. We did get suicide pills. Uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's see which one we want. I guess we can do the passive defense since it's not as many factories. And we do, I don't know where we keep getting these military factories from. I'm guessing compliance or from our puppets. Uh, that could be where we're getting them from as well. Uh, go ahead and pull back on artillery. We have, we're just stacked in artillery. Uh, instead put this into, again, I think we'll just do more planes, guys. Go up there and then, oh man, yeah, we got like a ton of these. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're still 10 short on rubber and we are actually short on aluminum as well. However, there are countries to trade with. Uh, we won't trade with the Russians. So I don't have to worry about their autonomy ticking up. We'll trade with, with them for a uh, steel if need be. But let's take a look, see if any of these guys are done. We do have a tank division done. Okay, excellent. Uh, so these guys, if we use them, if we use the tanks, then I don't think, oh, we can't do it that way, can we? I don't think we'll be able to replenish them without asking the Soviets for troops, or for tanks because we don't have any tank technology ourselves. So we'd have to get like the, the tanks lend leased to us. And uh, we got another factory. Okay, uh, let me just take a look at the infantry equipment situation. We're getting that up kind of high. Uh, I remember we're just trying to get uh, trying to get it all updated, which we still have a lot here. So we're just gonna put it into infantry equipment since uh, we're lacking rubber and aluminum for the planes. So how are we doing on getting these built? We're almost there guys, almost there. Just so much stuff is popping up because we're on this, this speed five, so we can't can't get anything done here. We are in 1946. Uh, let's go and get dive bombing next. And again, we're not going to use our experience for that. Well, air experience, I feel, is too precious for for doctrines. We should instead keep them for improving our planes. All right. Uh, so yeah, again, uh, we'll just uh, wait till we get these done. That's that's the only thing we're waiting on, guys. Um, although we are about to get new radar technology, so we probably will update the radar as well. Uh, get that updated everywhere. Uh, get all these uh, island radar stations uh, improved. I don't think we'll need radar over here, guys. Uh, I don't think the Allies are over in the Pacific or the Indian Ocean, for that matter. Uh, I just don't expect them to have had any success against the Japanese there. You can see the Japanese have just been dominating. Uh, France is about to lose here. Uh, so let's go ahead and modify our government. Uh, I'm going to get the... I guess we can get the Chief of Navy now. Yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, we'll get the... We're gonna get the naval experience game. We'll get that naval experience a little bit faster. Uh, since we are using so much of it, uh, you know, to get the doctrines, improve our ships, all that good stuff. Got the nuclear reactors, let's get the nuclear bombs now. So we need to build those, uh, but I'm not gonna prioritize that because we have other stuff to do. We'll get the nuclear reactors a bit later, I think. Uh, let's first get all this other stuff done. We'll take a while to research those. We also have to research strategic bombers before we'll even be able to drop them. Uh, and we do get the passive defense. Excellent. So I think we're going to go ahead and go with the decryption next. Uh, intelligence game for operatives and infiltrate assets. So I think this would actually be helpful. In invisible ink. We'll get that one first and then we'll do this one. All right. So let's go and take a look. Speaking of operatives, while I'm looking at this, let's just see if he's having any success now. Uh, if he, uh, cause we have it at 49%. So let's, let's see if we're to boost ideology, if that would be at all effective. Okay, it'd be 0 0.04 per day. So I think it is based on your Intel network. Interesting, I was not aware of that. That's good to know. It makes sense too. Uh, so we can actually take it up much higher if we've got uh, somebody doing the Intel network there. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys added to this army here. Again, I do think it's really important for us to protect all of our lands here. Let's do the area defense here as well. That'll pick it up to 15 divisions are gonna be required. So yeah, I think, I think it's just really important for us to have plenty of divisions there. All right, 
so I don't think we're facing any supply issues here. We actually look like we're doing pretty good in that regard. Uh, how are the Russian divisions looking on template? All right, so they're actually pretty decent too. So what we could do is take the Russian divisions and send some of them. To, we got to make sure that we defend these uh, these areas here. Uh, it'd probably be pretty good to make sure we have uh, good troops there. I don't want to use too many of my own. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make sure we have uh, some some divisions here. We'll take these Russian divisions, a couple of these, and send them off to the islands. So just take uh, one each. Put them on each island. They should already be in the ports here. Here we go. All right, excellent. So we'll have more troops there to help us defend. Hopefully we're not gonna face, yeah, we are facing attrition issues. All right, I did put a ton of uh, guys there, so that's not surprising. Uh, infrastructure is at level five. Uh, we need to step this up some, and we'll go ahead and take it up to the top. I think I'm putting too many damn troops there. We should probably uh, pull those Russian divisions from going over there, actually. Uh, yeah, I think we will. Uh, so we're going to build that up. That should help. And I, I don't know if it's the naval base that is limiting it. Let's just take a look and see what the supply problem here is. Uh, so we don't have any allied supply there. Uh, the naval base is what's limiting it. Okay, so let's build the naval base up to level 10, or level 8, excuse me, and see if that gets better. And then with that uh, Russian division that I just sent over there, I think it's this one here. Yeah, uh, we're just going to have him uh, stay where he's at. Stay where you're at, man. All right, fantastic. Uh, so we got the air and naval research. It's give us a bunch more experience for both naval, naval and air experience. Uh, we get the oil and get the jet technology research. So I don't know when exactly we would have get that. Uh, this would allow us to get uh, more, you know, get the paratroopers quicker uh, to research that. And I think uh, let me just take a look and see what we want to do here. For I think we might get the oil first because once we start running all of our ships and planes, we might have well. No, it's just not beneficial right now. We'll go get these then. All right, so we're almost ready, guys. Uh, next episode, we will be able to do the invasion. Yeah, look at this. We almost got the coastal bases done. We don't even have to get all of them done, technically. I really just want the ones on the islands done. So, yeah, I think we're just about ready, guys. Uh, we'll have to get all of our planes assigned as well. Uh, oh, we didn't build the air bases up high enough. That's right. Let me just take a look, because I think they actually have... Yeah, the, the Persians put planes here which I didn't want them to do. So we actually do have to get uh, this airbase built up a little bit higher to make up for them uh, being here. And how about over here? How's this airbase looking? All right, we've got enough there. All right, excellent. Okay, so yeah, just training up the planes. Uh, we'll see if we got any more that we can place out there. Uh, we actually do we have more fighters that we can get going. So let's go ahead and do that. And also go ahead and get the naval bombers here. And then see if we have a uh, close air support to go out there. Uh, you know what? We'll wait until we get a bit more. All right, so let's go and get these guys training up here. All right, so we'll have a lot of planes, guys. Uh, a lot of planes to do our bidding out there. Uh, we'll need to move some to help out in Africa as well. I'm going to try and get some to help us out here. Uh, and, yeah, we'll just kind of conquer all this territory here up behind them. And uh, that should just completely stymie their efforts here because they're gonna have to come back from behind to, to deal with the the attack that we launch and that's of course if they decide to help the Brazilians let's go ahead and justify the war goal when do we get it let's take a look and then this will kind of determine when we are gonna declare war so it's gonna be 60 days and then we'll have it for another 90 hmm are we gonna declare war in five months here is that gonna be enough time to get the the stuff built let's just take a look Let's, let's wait, guys. Let's wait until we get those those done. All right, so uh, what are we going to do next? Get more torpedo torpedo stuff? I think that would probably be for the best, since we have a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, let's get this one. Because we got all those torpedo destroyers, so I think it would be useful. And you know what? Those guys are facing attrition. Are facing attrition because we're training them. Ah, oh, I'm a dummy. We probably don't need to build that naval base up any higher. I bet they probably wouldn't face attrition if we uh, weren't training them. <laughs> I'm a dummy. I guess having the extra naval base helps. It's, it's not bad. Uh, so it's let's go and get the. Yeah, I think we're gonna go and get this one, guys. Not seeing anything else that we might want to get immediately. Yeah, let's go and do this one. 
All right, so let's see how they're going. They're at 43% right now, and we are currently ticking them up by 0 0.05 per day. All right, excellent. So I see how it works now. So yeah, we do have to have that Intel network there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, a lot of the, the operations, man, they require two, two operatives, because you have to have one that's getting the Intel network and then one that's you know doing the actual mission there. Uh, so we do have these guys ready to go. Let's go ahead and, now that we know that that is not a supply problem, we can go ahead and move this guy over here, I suppose, although, yeah, he'll have to go into this army, actually, and then we'll just move this guy over there. All right, so let's get him assigned. And uh, we've got one more uh, to go ahead and move into. We have these ports pretty well protected. I'm not too worried about that now. I uh, could go ahead and move more divisions over to this front, I suppose, just in case the uh, Japanese get wily. Uh, I'm hoping they don't. <laughs> they still need they need to be launching naval invasions, man. Launching naval invasions into the United States. I don't know what they're doing. Like, what is Japan doing right now? I'm really curious. Uh, we might be able to get some, like maybe the Swedes or, the, or Finland into the faction. If they, uh, if the Allies declare war on them, you know, the British like to do that for whatever reason. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue down here. I think we're going to get the, oh, let's just see here. This would be really helpful to improve our light cruisers. Yeah, and their visibility would be lower. Uh, they'd have higher detection. Getting the submarines better, though, would probably be best. We'll start with the submarines first, and then we'll do the light cruisers. Uh, so we did get another military factory. <laughs> Uh, that I don't know where to assign because I don't have any freaking rubber. Although we're actually doing okay in rubber, it's not it's not terrible. It could be much worse. What we could do is just pull from from these here and then use that to, to put towards planes, uh, so we can get more naval bombers, particularly. All right, so that looks good and uh, still short on aluminum, of course, but we can trade for aluminum, so at least there's that. And just no rubber to trade for. Uh, and we got more divisions from our puppets. And we'll mostly be using those for defense. Now, the reason why I like to use uh, puppet divisions for defense rather than offensive is because when you use their divisions, the ones that they build, uh, they they get the war participation for anything that happens. Uh, so this is looking much better here. Uh, man, we're so stacked on equipment. <laughs> we're doing great, man. Uh, this should last through the whole war. I don't expect to have any equipment issues in this conflict, guys. All right, so again, still having repair issues, but we're trying to get that solved. Uh, and it's, what else do we have to get, guys? Could, of course, uh, see if there's any areas where we could build up for rubber. Probably not. I know we don't have any, we know we don't have any rubber here. If we start running low on steel, we could always uh, increase the infrastructure over there. But for right now, I guess we need to get nuclear reactors, more synthetic refineries, and I think that's it. Yeah, uh, we got the coastal forts. I would like to get higher level coastal forts there, but that's not a priority. Uh, we got the level 10s all through here, so this is going to be extremely costly uh, for them to do any invasions here. Uh, so we need more dockyards, too. Uh, that'd be nice to have. Let's go ahead and start with... Uh, we'll get one more refinery, and then I think we're going to do the nuclear reactors, guys. So let's do a nuclear reactor. Two nuclear reactors should hopefully be enough. And then maybe then we'll get some dockyard, or one more dockyard here. I don't know how much room we're going to have for more dockyards, but yeah, that looks good. All right, uh, so I feel like we're ready to go ahead and start getting the uh, the Wurgle. Well, let's go ahead and do that now. So it's going to be 60 days to get the Wurgle, guys. Uh, we're also going to want to move troops uh, over to here. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, the, are these guys still helping? Or do we still need their help, I mean? I feel like we do not. Let's go ahead and unassign generals. And then uh, we can then place them in, in the armies where we need them. All right, so with our invasion army, I know we have somebody who's working on getting invasion tech, but I don't remember which one it was. Uh, or excuse me, the invasion skill. Uh, so invader 40% right there. I think it's him. So I think we're going to use him for this. Let me just double check here. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think he's the only one. All right, so he's our going to be in control of the Marines here. Uh, this army here it will be under the control. And you know what? We should probably change up these guys' colors, man, because this is going to get confusing. Uh, well, they can be darker blue then. 
All right, yeah, that'll work. Uh, and then our main general is gonna be in charge here, at level seven general. Now, this guy's actually gotten pretty decent as well. well. Let's see if he's got any upgrades. Again, he just has these ones here, which yeah, I don't see us getting any of those right now. All right, so this army here is gonna be the army that's going to be landing in whatever ports we get in first. So we don't really need this uh, composition. We'll have to change that up. Uh, this army here is going to be split into two, and uh, it's gonna, again, it's going to be our garrison army. Uh, though, can you still have the large garrison armies? If it's set to doing the... I mean, that would be here, of course, but yeah, I wonder if you can still do that. Uh, when you have the garrison armies, if you can have them like at 72 divisions. Maybe not, uh, since they, they changed up the garrison system. Alright, so uh, we need a defensive uh, general. This guy's more attack. What about the the guy I just assigned? I didn't actually look at his abilities. He actually is more defensive minded. Okay. Interesting. Maybe we might want him. Well, I mean, he's pretty good overall. I mean, his supply consumption is actually great. We should probably keep him here, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, he's got that great supply consumption. Okay, uh, we'll keep him here. All right, guys, so this is how it's gonna look. Set this up, so we've got it set up based on not location, but whether they're offensive or defensive, since we do have field marshals kind of you know, geared towards that. So this is our defensive field marshal, which he needs some training. Uh, we were using him over here, and he got a little bit of experience from that, but not much. And uh, he's got the defensive doctrine so they can get entrenched higher. Uh, so in his army, we have the yellow army, which is, of course, garrisoning over here. We have the purple army, which is garrisoning uh, on our islands here as well as anywhere in Asia. And then we have this pink army, which is, of course, uh, these guys up along here. Uh, so they don't need a general, but these two do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get another general because we actually only have one left. Uh, so let's get a new commander here. And we'll see which one would be best uh, for each area. So I suppose... We'll have the better one in charge of the purple army, since it's larger, and then this guy in charge of the yellow army. All right, so we got generals assigned there, and then, of course, we have our better, better uh, field marshal here. He's the offensive-oriented one, and he actually has an upgrade, so let's go ahead and get him something. We should probably get him logistic wizards. Um, I'm also tempted to get that infantry expert. That'd be nice, too. Um, but you know what? We'll do this one. I think that'd be for the best. And then if he gets any further upgrades, we can get him that infantry expert. All right, so... He's been upgraded. Uh, we'll take a look and see if any other generals need to be upgraded. We've already looked at him. Uh, he doesn't have any either. Uh, so this is the army that I still need to get uh, kind of a range. I don't really like this setup just yet. So we're probably gonna make some adjustments to this army here. But we need the rest of our army, our divisions back here. Uh, and then we have the, um, yeah, I think that what we'll do here. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this will have to be enough, these 24 di divisions for right now for these invasions until we get the rest of the troops. Uh, but anyways, these are the invasion army, and then this is Africa. These are all the divisions that are all throughout Africa, guys. We have exactly 24 divisions. I didn't plan that, actually, but it ended up uh, fitting uh, right under an army. So uh, they've got our second best general, who does have Desert Fox, and that'll help him over here in North Africa, and he's kind of on his way towards getting some other really good skills. Uh, so that's how our armies are going to look, guys. Uh, so we're getting the war goal now, and we'll declare war in Brazil, and we're just assuming that Brazil will join the Allies. Now, maybe they won't. Uh, that would actually be very advantageous to us. That'd be a good thing. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if they... If they join or not. Uh, is there any big ships here? Yeah, we'll go and pull them out. And just keep on, on training these ships for now until we're closer to being ready to get into the war here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get to, to May, and then I think that's where we're going to end the episode, guys. Uh, so we get the war goal. Let's just take a look at this. We get the war goal in the, on the 10th of June. Uh, so we got the improved radar. Let's go ahead and... Well, that's right. I keep wanting to go down there, but... We need to get the better rubber processing. So we're gonna get that, and uh, we can now get the, the better radar stations. That's gonna be pretty useful to have. Uh, so let's go and build that, and we'll probably take the, all this stuff. We're gonna take these down below, actually. It's not as important, I feel. All right, so get the radar going throughout here. Make sure we have very, very good radar coverage throughout this region. I uh, could also get better radar coverage up along Africa, uh, but yeah, we're just not gonna prioritize that. We have too much stu other stuff to get right now. Oops. All right, uh, especially like getting, you know, the rubber situation dealt with and uh, the further fortifications. I would like to have those done by the time of the war. Uh, of course, if we keep getting these ones, I mean, those are kind of expensive, 10 factories to build that. 
Uh, let's get the next passive defense. I would assume that the allies are going to uh, use uh, use some of their operatives against us. I guess we'll we'll see. Uh, we don't know for sure. But don't know what they'll end up doing. Maybe they'll prioritize the the major powers though. Uh, that might make more sense. Uh, so now we're up to 0 0.07 today. So I, essentially, once we get it up to 100%, I think that then makes it so you get the full 0 0.10 per day. Uh, so it should be getting close here. Not quite there. Uh, and I think once they are fascist, they'll be willing to join a faction. Now, whether or not they'll be willing to join our faction is entirely based on this here, the diplomatic pressure. Which sucks is that I also want to put the diplomatic pressure on, and we should probably just switch over to that, yeah. I also want to do it to the, uh, Venezuelans. And we need to get the, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do this any further, guys. But it's good to know how it works. Uh, that's not really... It doesn't impact it much, though. I think they changed it to make it more significant. Because, I mean, you're talking about at 100%. So that's two operatives to do that. You're doing 0.10 per day. So that means you would have ticked it up by, what, 3% per month, I suppose? Yeah. Uh, so you're not making a huge impact on it. Uh, I mean, it's it's about what you get from a modifier, of course. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you have to have two operatives there. So, I mean, that's that's huge, man. Uh, you have to really be spending a lot of time doing it. Uh, so, and we just don't have the operatives to do that right now. Uh, so, what I think we're going to do is go ahead and move these guys now. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy here is going to work on building the Intel network. And then the other guy, since, you know, he won't be able to stay there now that the Intel network is dropped, is going to instead do the diplomatic pressure on Venezuela because once we have invaded uh, South America, all the South American countries are going to be more likely to join a faction because they'll feel threatened. Uh, so we want Venezuela to join our faction. Uh, so we can also improve their relations, although I think we've already done that. Yeah, we've already done it. It is ticking down a bit, though. Uh, let's just see where we're at here. Uh, and, of course, the that modifier, man, hits us so hard. Uh, you know what we could do? Oh, we can't guarantee them. That's right. They're not fascists yet. Never mind. All right. So we won't improve relations with anybody. Uh, let's go and get this one now. That'll allow us to get more special forces. Uh, obviously, we don't have a ton of manpower for building units. I'm going to wait uh, to build units until it gets a bit higher, guys. Uh, because we could take pretty heavy casualties in the opening of the conflict. So we're going to want to make sure that we're uh, prepared for that. We'll get these 24 divisions back as soon as the war starts. Oh, we are in May. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, looks like they're doing another invasion there. But yeah, I don't think the Allies have the, the strength anymore uh, to, to do the naval invasions. I think they're incredibly weak. Uh, what we can do is take a look at the current war and uh, see how many casualties they have faced. Uh, so they've actually taken 15 million casualties compared to 13 million on the Axis side. Uh, Germany has taken 5 million, and uh, most of that to the United States and, and Britain. Uh, France is 1.92 million. Italians, uh, 4.17 million. UK did uh, the most there, but... Just, the Americans are just behind the, behind them. Uh, Japan has taken 1.34 million casualties, most of that to the UK. Uh, have not been fighting the United States much, which is interesting. The United States hadn't really found themselves uh, in Asia much. Uh, 4.9 million casualties for the United States, most of that to Germany. Italy did quite a bit as well, as did France. Uh, UK, 2.92 million, most of that to Italy and Germany. A little bit to Japan, 300-something thousand. All right, uh, so... We can see how many divisions they have left. Not a lot. The United States and the UK have lost a ton of divisions on those invasions, I think, as well as probably uh, moving troops across the sea. So yeah, they don't have a ton. Uh, I don't know if we can see like their naval situation. Uh, that would be good to know. We actually can see their naval situation. We can even see what they're all doing here as well. Uh, that we can't see the missions yet. We can just see the areas that they're operating in. And they got a uh, 200 something ships. That's not a lot, actually. That's uh, a much lower number than they typically do. Uh, a lot of battleships, though. A lot of carriers. Looks like uh, their submarine fleet has been pretty much completely destroyed. So they have no submarines. Let's take a look at the British and see what we can see of them. They have a massive fleet. Good God. Yeah, they are dominating the seas. They don't have submarines either. Okay. Um. So yeah, we really didn't, I'm glad that we didn't design our destroyers with the ability to go after submarines much. Uh, a lot of, a lot of ships here, but yeah, they're, I think they're losing the naval war, man. So us getting involved, I think is going to be super helpful, uh, bombing those, uh, allied ships, but it's going to take a long time to deal a significant blow against the allied navy. Uh, so I hope you guys did 
Uh, enjoy this episode. We're going to be going to war with Brazil next episode, perhaps with the Allies. It's exciting. And so we've been preparing for this war for a long time. Uh, we are going to reveal our intel on the Brazil uh, for the invasion so that uh, we'll have less of an invasion penalty. And so, yeah, we'll make sure we do that. Uh, that'll also give us a bunch of other benefits as well. But hopefully that should make the difference. Um, what we're going to want to do, though, is we're going to want to do it once they're closer to doing the invasion because that could take like a whole month just to get over there it probably won't but it'll take a you know it does take a while and in, in way for to to move it'll at least take a couple weeks so i don't want to lose that benefit while they're just traveling across the sea so what we we'll want to do is time it perfectly uh so that they're close to the invasion when we do it so we'll do that against the uh, brazilians we'll see how that goes uh we could also use our our one against the americans early on too i don't know if we will though we'll have to see we'll see if we want to use it it would be helpful for attacking the the american navy though so yeah, if you enjoyed the episode make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment do hope to see you on the next episode and thanks for watching guys